45 News at 10, your generation. The aviation industry has struggled greatly since September 11th, and we're now starting to see actual numbers that reveal just how tough it's been. Thank you for joining us. I'm Wendy Corona. One example is the Kissimmee Airport. Nothing near the size of an Orlando International Airport, but hurting just as much, if not more. Bill Cook has the story. At Kissimmee Airport, when these planes stay grounded, a lot of people are hurt financially. And now we know just how much. Since September 11th, air traffic operations are down 33 percent, and fuel sales have declined 29 percent. I think the, the most difficult thing for everybody was, uh, A, generally what happened to us as a country, and uh, B, the economic impact, and just not knowing exactly when, when and if you're going to be able to go back to operating as normal. And here it's been even tougher to get back to normal. Even when commercial airlines were permitted to fly again, many planes here remained grounded for days, and in some cases, weeks. That's because the FAA had a six-week-long restriction for planes without cockpit instruments. Things were particularly rough for one business here, Warbird Adventures Incorporated, where pilots come from around the globe to fly World War II vintage planes. But all the planes here were grounded for 10 days. We were worried about the aircraft that we had just bought and the payments we still have to make. That wasn't put on hold. You still have to pay for everything. The good news is, since Wednesday, all of the FAA's restrictions have been lifted. And all of the businesses have survived the toughest of times. But no one knows if it will ever be business as usual again. You know, plan for the worst and, uh, and hope for the best. In Kissimmee, Bill Cook, Fox 35 News. The Kissimmee Airport is the closest aviation facility to the attractions and the convention center.